I saw the sun. I opened up my eyes. I saw the sun. Da 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 da. Oh. I make fallen. Oh god. Ooh. We coming in hot today, boys and girls. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, I forgot my water. How? I saw the sun. I opened up my eyes. I saw the sun. Hey, hey guys. Got milk? Oh. Miku down. Oh my god, what is happening? Well, that's a, that's a great start to the video. So before we start this video, we're gonna have to have a quick little history lesson so you guys can get uh, all caught up. So if we can just bring down vanilla, can we get a nice black and white filter, please? No, no black and white. Effects tab, you go to effects and then search. You can just type in black and white. No effects, there you go, okay. Thank you, vanilla. Can we also get some dramatic music in the background, please? Just to kind of set the mood. No, dramatic. No, no. Okay, whatever. Thank you, Vanilla. You, you've done okay. The year is 1939, and Germany is striking through its neighboring countries like it's playing Wii Bowling on easy mode. Over in the United States, we're just kind of looking on with mild interest, like when somebody explains why Dragon Ball Z is the best anime ever made. But we're also preparing. We're getting a lot of new weapons, ships, tanks, and other goodies made for what is yet to come. Fast forward to late 1941 and Japan pushes us over on the playground and spills our juice box all over our favorite shirt. This pisses us off enough to declare war on both Germany and, and Japan, who are being very naughty at the time, and then they, and then they kiss. I'll save that for my uh, World War II fanfic. By 1942, the US is all in. We got people on the Eastern Front and the Western Front, and we got the Canadians helping us, and even Mexico, I think, showed up at one point. And in August of 1942, a very important piece of military naval warfare equipment was launched out of the uh, East Coast, and that would be, of course, the USS Iowa. At almost 900 feet long and sporting nine 16-inch cannons, 25-inch Mark 12 guns, 80, 80, holy shit, 80 40-millimeter anti-aircraft guns, and 49 20mm anti-aircraft cannons. I'm I'm not reading this off of Wikipedia as we go. 49, why didn't they just add one more gun? Was there literally not one more gun just to round that off? She is what US Navy historians would call dummy thick. One of the more interesting things to happen to the USS Iowa is actually a part of a friendly fire incident with the much lesser known ship, the William Porter. The William Porter and his bucket of water. Yeah, they like accidentally fired some torpedoes and nearly hit the, uh, the uh, USS Iowa and and return the USS Iowa just turned all its guns on the William Porter and uh, thinking that it was an assassination attempt or something. You guys gotta look this up. History is great. But yes, the USS Iowa, a very important and well-known ship in the uh, United States naval history. And that, of course, brings me to the anime figure we're going to be reviewing and taking a look at today, which is going to be the USS Iowa from Kantai Collection. This is the Max Factory half-damaged version. And this might just be the most America anime figure I owned to date. I mean, just look at this packaging. This is the most America Japanese anime figure I have ever seen. I actually picked up this figure over a month ago on Right Stuff. Yes, I shop on right stuff very rarely but they were having a pretty impressive christmas day sale on this figure uh, right around 130 dollars so i thought why not let's go ahead and pick her up and take a look i already have an i-19 i got a whole bunch of shimikaze so i need to branch out and uh try a few other kantai collection characters i don't know you guys i don't feel like america enough like my shirt just this whole look like i don't know to, to walmart Alright, so I went to Walmart, got myself some McDonald's. It's feeling a little bit more America up in here. I didn't really know which one to get. I mean, we have like the obvious planet-sized bald eagle flying through space option. Or we have like seventh grader who just watched Lord of the Rings for the first time option. I, I don't know. I'm thinking bald eagle. I know that's a little bit more of like a normie option, but 
we'll save the dragon shirt for more of a, a dragon themed episode i didn't really like wash this or anything so there we go i feel more american already Alrighty, so let's go ahead and did i leave you there Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open the figure and see what we got okay am i retarded how do you open a max factory box I've owned these before, like, I, I honestly don't remember how to... Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. We even have the presidential seal of approval. Donald Trump himself puts that sticker on every single box, is what I've heard, what I've read on Reddit. Huzzah! We don't have to use a USB flash drive. We have a knife. Alrighty, guys, let's pop her open, take a look, see what we got. Whoa! This packaging is very cool and different and kind of confusing. Yeah, there she is, and that's a pretty cool little graphic to include. It looks very, like, 1940s almost. It looks almost like a pinup girl, something you'd see on the front of, like, a of like a, a bomber. And there she is, you guys. I'll give you guys the first look. The USS Iowa from Contact Collection, all snug as a bug in a rug inside of her plastic prison. Oh, wow. We got accessories, you guys. We got accessories galore. And there it is, you guys. I wish that I could just preserve this scent and just send it out to you. It is uh, it is quite nice. I was gonna say instructions, but this is just warning. So, uh, warning, do not eat this, okay? Question mark. And that's what the inside of the box looks like. It's pretty cool with all the different colors. Um, yeah, it's actually a very well done box. Cool. That's very interesting. They actually use square tape on their packaging, you guys. I think that's one of the only legit figures that I'm aware of that uses square tape. Normally, that's uh, one of the easiest ways to tell if your figure is fake or not, is if the tape is square. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go around the sides here real quick. We're going to go ahead and free her first, and then we'll take a look at the different accessories, see what we're working with. Alright, so she should be free now. Let's get some pops here. All right, so she is now free to move about the country. I'm gonna go ahead and get the accessories out of the box here. If I can freaking figure it out. Oh, okay. I figured it out. Alrighty, so now we have the accessories and the figure itself all freed from the plastic prison. And here is the base for the figure itself. And you might say, hey, that looks a little bit different. Um, but if you are not aware, the figures from this series actually interlock, so, which I'll show you guys later once I get this figure together. Um, you can actually take another figure from the same series, and they kind of just all mesh together like a big, like a big puzzle of waifus. And there's the figure itself, you guys. Quick little look. She has a ton of... Oh my god. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Finally got all the different packaging material off of her. The one up under her hair definitely took some patience. That one was in there uh, uh, real tight. Alrighty, so I'm just going to put her down on the base there in the meantime, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the... Uh, different accessories that she comes with. So first accessory is gonna be this piece here, and I believe this just goes right on the top of her head, judging by the little hair pieces. So we uh, already came across the first little problem here. Um, this little head meme right here, there's a there's a hole, you guys, you guys see that little hole? Um, and this, this peg's supposed to go in it. So yeah, that just kinda sits in there. And the uh, issue with mine, I don't know if this is only mine or or whichever, but uh, this little peg it's not glued or anything. It's it's just a free-floating little piece. So that immediately fell out. I'm glad I found it uh, as soon as I got it out of the packaging. Looks like I'm gonna have to glue it, which I don't like to do with a brand new figure that I literally just opened, but uh, hey, we uh, you have to do it sometimes. But moving on, we get a few other accessories here. We have this piece here, and we have a piece of the ship here, the main ship, which is actually done really well, a lot of different detail to it. The damage detail on this is, is really cool. And the last piece is like a half of a ship. Yeah, I'm not sure how this all goes together, so I'm definitely gonna have to refer to the pictures on the box. After a few minutes, I think I have it. I'm not 100% sure if that's how it's supposed to go. My issue with this figure is there's really no guidance. There's no instructions, there's no pegs, there's no order to it. You just kind of place it around the figure and hope for the best. Which, it might look good now, but as soon as I sneeze on this or shake the table, all of this is going to fall out of place, and uh, yeah, it's not going to look very good for long. And I must say, the detail is nice. I like the coloring. I like the pose. Um, that all looks fine. The quality of the figure itself is fine, but, uh, but it does kind of drive me nuts with anime figures when they just expect you to throw things on the base without any pegs or support, and it supposed to look good. 
So the look and color of this figure, 10 out of 10, looks great. The design of this figure, 4 out of 10, maybe. But to demonstrate how all these figures are supposed to look together, how all the bases interlock, um, I'll go ahead and grab my I-168 figure here, same make, same model. <laughs> And there you guys go. They'll actually kind of just puzzle piece together. So if you do collect multiple figures from this same series, uh, they'll just kind of fit together and make one large base. I don't get it when people are like, oh, McDonald's fast food. It's so gross. It all tastes like garbage. This hamburger tastes like magic. But of course, this wouldn't be a complete anime please figure review without giving you guys at least a little bit of close-up footage of it. See all the detail that this figure boasts. So here is a closer look for you guys at home. Enjoy. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for this figure review. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this figure with me. I've been uh, itching to unbox it for quite a while. Always remember, if you guys want to see more of my collection or just hang out with me, my Discord link will be down in the description and also the link to my Instagram where I show off a whole bunch of my different figures, uh, some cool shots on there. I also have a link to my account on my figure collection, so if you guys want to see my complete anime figure collection, uh, it's not always up to date, but at least you'll get the idea. But that's all I have for today. I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace.